Hello my dears and welcome back to my overheated, done with summer corner of the internet. Today is Friday, which means I've got another book talk video for you guys. But today instead of talking about a specific book, I thought I would do a book lovers tag. I found this tag while um, googling the term book lovers tag. So I don't know who started it, I don't know where it came from, but I loved the questions and thought I would share my answers with you guys. Um, as well, since it's Friday, I'm going to have some shoutouts towards the end of the video and maybe you guys can meet some new friends. So, the questions. Do you have a specific place for reading? Um, no. Well, that's not entirely true. Normally, I do most of my reading in bed before I go to sleep. So, like, I'll go up a half an hour, an hour before I want to be asleep and I'll read then. I love laying down and reading. Um, but honestly, I'll read anywhere. I've got an appointment. Um, I'll throw my book in my bag so that I can read while I'm waiting. The uh, appointment waiting is a great time to read. That way the time goes faster <laughs> and you're getting something done. So yeah, but no, generally in my bed, snuggled up is where I like to read. Number two, bookmarks or random pieces of paper. Um, anything, most generally, and if I can't find anything, I will dog ear the page. <laughs> I know some people hate that, but I don't mind it. To me, it just makes the book look more um, worn and well-loved, and I, there's nothing nicer to me than a well-loved looking book. So yeah, I'll just, I'll just dog ear a page, and there we go. <laughs> uh, my husband and daughter hate dog earing pages. Uh, can you stop anywhere or must it be at the end of the chapter? Most generally, I prefer to end at a chapter break. So I really love when books have short chapters. That way, if you only have a couple minutes for reading, you can finish a whole chapter and then be able to put it away. But um, I can stop anywhere. I just have to, when I go back, I just go back and read like the sentence before or whatever. So if not a chapter break, at least a paragraph break, that way you kind of know where you're at. Do you eat or drink while reading? Um, sometimes. I generally have a glass of water or a mug of tea at all times. So yeah, I'll, I'll have that with me when reading. Eat. Um, I mean, if I'm having a snack or something and I'm reading. So possibly. <laughs> Music or TV while reading? No. I prefer it to be quiet when I'm reading. Um, if there's background noise and things that are easy to black out, I can, you know, if the TV's on, if somebody's watching it and I happen to be reading in the same room, I can just sort of block it out. But, um, no, no. And, like, music, that just distracts me because I'm listening to the music and trying to read and then it all gets jumbled up. Um, one book at a time or several. One book at a time. Always one book at a time. I can't stand trying to read more than one book at a time. Unless, I mean, unless the topics were vastly different, like, you know, if you're reading one for educational purposes or school or something, and then you have one for pleasure, that's fine, but like fiction, like novels, I can't have more than one going at a time. It drives me nuts. Do you prefer to read at home or elsewhere? Like I said, I'll read anywhere, but yeah, I like reading at home. The best, read out loud or silently. Uh, silently, always silently. I only read out loud if I'm reading to someone, like um, if I'm reading to my daughter, which um, is something we still have to do together, or something like that, then I'll read out loud. But when I'm reading, it's, it's silently. Breaking the spine or keeping it like new? Breaking it. I like to crack that spine. I like to be able to get the book nice and open. Like I said, I love a book that looks worn in, well loved. So yes, crack that spine. Um, do you write in your books? Um, no, not, not generally. Sometimes what I'll do is I will, um, if there's something I want to remember there, I'll put a post-it note with an arrow and then I'll, I'll position the post-it note to what I'm wanting to remember. I will, however, like in the beginning of a book, if I'm giving it as a gift to someone, which I do quite often, is I'll, you know, write the date and who it's from and maybe a little message. So um, I like that and I love when people do it and they give me books. I love that little message as a reminder of who it's from, when it was given, and just a little, a little message of some sort. So that is it. 
you guys I hope you liked this tag I thought it was fun just a nice relaxing video for today um, as for tagging anyone um, I know I've got some book lovers on here uh, Penny I know I know you love books I know there's tons of you guys so anyone who wants to do this tag I will put the questions down in the description bar below and you can do it if you'd like I would love to hear your answers I want to know if I'm the only savage at the I want to know if I'm the only savage that dog ears pages. I can't be. I can't be. So for today's shout outs, I got three dear friends of mine here on YouTube. I was going to say MySpace for a second. Just had a time warp uh, here on YouTube. And the first one is Sylvia. Her channel is called Sylvia Lee Glamour Gypsy. What a lovely name. Um, she's just, she's wonderful. She's got this channel that... Um, she does all kinds of things on it. She does some car vlogs, which I love. She'll do some beauty videos, some makeup, things like that. Um, and there's just something really inviting about her personality. And when you're listening to her talk, you feel like you've known her for ages. And, um, just like you're catching up with a friend, and I love that. So definitely go and check out Sylvia's channel. And please, if you do, let her know that I sent you. Although I'm sure tons of you are already subscribed to her. But if you're not, let her know where you came from. <laughs> uh, number two is Melody Valaine. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, Melody is this wonderful woman here on YouTube. She does a lot of beauty videos, um, beauty reviews, things like that. She's just, she's just got such a welcoming personality again. You'll, you'll notice this trend in the people that I shout out because these are the people that I'm drawn to the most. So she's just very sweet, she's very supportive. And if you go and check out her channel, let her know I sent you. And finally, Shen Fash Fab. She is, she's just so stunningly beautiful. And she does these amazing makeup videos. She's so fun to watch. And yeah, you're gonna love her. If you love makeup and beauty and fashion, you need to go and check her out. So again, let her know I sent you. Anyway, you guys, I hope you have a beautiful weekend filled with all the things you love, all your favorite things. Maybe ice cream? I could go for an ice cream. I wish we could all <laughs> together go for an ice cream. Anyway, I think the heat is scrambling my brains, so I'm gonna go. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye, guys.